In this question, we're told Bob is given a bonus of £1,000 at work. He shares this equally between himself and his seven brothers. Bob spends two-fifths of his share on clothes, 10% on food and £4 on magazines. What percentage of the original bonus does Bob have after buying the clothes, food and magazines? This was a non-calculator question. Let's go ahead and look at setting this up. We've got Bob and his seven brothers, so we've got eight people in total. We need to share for 1,000 by 8. So we're going to have now an equal share, and that will be 1,000 over 8. We know that 1,000 divided by 4 is going to give us 250, so 1,000 divided by 8 is going to give us now 125. So each share is 125. Let's first look now at the clothes. So Bob spends two-fifths of his money on clothes. This is a non-calculator question. If we find one-fifth of the 125, we simply need to divide 125 by 5, and that's going to give us now 25. So if we consider two-fifths, that's going to be twice the amount. So two-fifths of 125 is going to be equal to 50. So we can see in total he spent £50 on clothes. Let's now look at food. He spends 10% of his share on food. So we can write 10% now of the 125. That's going to give me now 12.5. All we need to do is divide 125 by 10. So we've got now a total of £12.50. So he spent £12.50 uh, 12 pounds and 50 pence on food let's now look at magazines we're given the value that he spends on magazines so we simply write down that that's four pounds so we can see now that the total that he spent is 50 plus for 12 pounds 50 plus for four so let's go ahead and write this out so we can now say that the total that's going to be 50 plus the 12.5 plus the four that's going to give me now a total here, 62.5 plus the 4, we can see that this is going to give us £66.50p. So that now is what he has spent. If we look at the remaining amount, we're going to subtract this from 125. So if we look now at the remaining, uh, so just jotting this down, we've got 125 minus £66.50. That's going to give us now a total of £58.50. You can, of course, do some uh, working out on paper, or if you're comfortable doing this mentally, you can write down the answer. If we now look at the percentage of the original, so percentage of original bonus, and we'll just jot this here, we have now the following. The way that I'm going to do this is to write that this is going to be 58.5% over now 1,000. Lots of different approaches you could do with this. If we had 58.5 over 100, that would give me 58.5%. Therefore, if we got it over 1,000, it's going to be 10 times less. So we can say that this will be 5.85% of the original amount. So there's the final answer now to the question. It's 5.85%. At this stage here, you could have simply written 58.5 of 1,000 and multiplied this by 100. That's an alternative. If we look at this, these zeros are going to cancel. We've got 58.5 over 10, which will give us now 5.85%. So a few different ways that you could do the question and certainly lots of different approaches for the answer. The final answer, though, in terms of the original bonus, he has 5.85% left.